Welcome champions to another episode of Was It Worth It Whiskey and today we've got a Glen Alecky it's a space side whiskey and it's the 10 year old cask strength and this one's our batch three so it's the most recent edition uh, recently won uh, gold in the world whiskey awards for 2020 um, has all the good stuff that we're looking for no chilled filtering natural color and that exceptionally high ABV of 58.2 which is a good thing because if we don't like it we can run the lawnmower on it. So, on that note, let's get into it. Ooh. So the nose, you, you can straight away, you pick up that, that, that very high ABV if you don't, if you breathe in too deeply, you'll burn your nose hairs off. So it's got that, 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 uh, that sherry, raisins, Christmas cake, marzipan, vanilla, that very uh, standard um, sherry cask, bold whiskey nose to it. But that's about it. Yeah. Woo. A big sip takes a bit of getting used to. Um, so it's it's uh, it's a caramel, sweet caramel, and then it goes into like a, a burnt sugar. Um, I can't really get any more flavors out of the than that. Um, I think it's because of the high alcohol content. Um, it just seems to burn my tongue and, and I can't seem to get any other flavors out of it. And then we go into the, the finish. Now finish is uh, quite short um, and it's, it's, it's just kind of a, a bitterness like that, that grape tannin bitterness. Um, that sits on the back of your tongue and the side of your tongues. Um, it's it, like I said, it's not long. Um, it's not not nice, but it's not lovely finish neither, um, and quite short. Now, being a car strength, and I don't usually, I, I actually disagree with uh, putting water in whiskies because I do believe that the distiller. Um, should be bottling it at its best point, at its best flavour point. If he's not, then he's doing something wrong. Um, and in this case, I think he did the right thing because I did water this one down, not here, but I did before just to, to try it. And I tried to get around that 45, 50%. And I didn't really notice a lot of difference. I got a, um, on the nose, I got a little bit of extra banana flavour and a, this slight uh, grape lolly, you know, grape uh, jelly flavor on the nose, but the other, the other uh, notes disappeared slightly. On the palate, all it did was just reduce the burn a bit, which was good. Um, and the finish, the finish became more watery and more bitter. Um, so it really didn't do anything for the finish at all, probably made it worse in fact. So on that note, I'm going to give the uh, malt score for it. Uh, I'm going to give a 83 for the nose. I'm going to give a 78 for the palate. And I'm going to give a 74 for the finish, giving a total malt score of 78. But as we all know, more importantly than that is the was it worth it score. So I'm going to give, well, first off, this bottle I bought for 50 pounds, or you can get in Australia for 165 Australian dollars. With that price, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. 
I certainly think, and I certainly know, that for that type of money we can get this type of whiskey for cheaper and better on the market today. So it's a big thumbs down from me, and I won't be buying this bottle of whiskey again. So till next time, cheers. <laughs>